Hey, welcome to UK Wildcrafts. This is wild carrot, Daucus carota, also known as Queen Anne's Lace. It's a common biennial that you'll find growing in meadows, grasslands and roadsides. It's more common by the coast, but you'll also find it inland. Now this plant does come with a warning. Don't eat it if you're pregnant or trying to conceive. This wild carrot does have a, a long history of being a contraceptive. I don't know too much about medical medicinal herbs, but there's loads of information online if you want to research it further. And as always with members of the Apiaceae or the uh, carrot family, take extra care and make sure you can uh, ID it with 100% certainty because there's some deadly members of that family like hemlock water dropwort and poison hemlock and they can look fairly similar. So the whole of the plant is edible though I don't really recommend eating the stems they're pretty tough so you can eat the flower heads in spring and summer the greens you can eat they're best in spring but they are edible throughout the summer as well and the seeds probably my favorite part are edible in the summer and also the roots which you do need permission to dig up. The flowers grow in umbels or umbrella like clusters and the flowers are white or sometimes with a, a pinkish tinge to them and they each have five petals. You'll notice the, the flowers around the edge of the umbel are slightly larger A key identifying feature for wild carrot is that some of the flower umbels will have a single red or purple flower right in the center. They don't always have this and sometimes on the same plant one umbel will have that single red or purple flower and others won't. The plant will usually flower from June to September and here you can see the slight pink colour of the flowers better on this plant. Another key identifying feature of the wild carrot are these distinctive brats underneath. Now there are other plants that have these brats but wild carrot you'll see that they will fork into three. Now the, the plant falls parsley, which is poisonous, has these brats, but they are singular. They don't fork into three, like this does here. And also falls parsley will have quite an unpleasant smell if you crush like the leaves or any other part of the plant, whereas the whole of the wild carrot plant will have a nice carrot smell. Wild carrot will flower successively throughout the summer. So the same plant will have young flower heads coming up like this, which will then turn into this. And then they'll open up into an umbellifer like this, which is usually quite flat topped. And then eventually they will start turning into seeds and you'll get this all on the same plant. And then eventually they end up like this, like a concave bird's nest like set of seeds. So the seeds are oval and covered in hooked hairs. And uh, yeah, I love the flavor of these. They're, uh, they're nice in like stews and curries and have a nice uh, like carroty aniseedy sort of flavour.
anyone who's grown their own carrots at home or have bought carrots from the shop with the carrot top still on will easily recognize the leaves of wild carrot they look just like the ones from cultivated carrots the leaves are pinnately divided and are slightly hairy underneath When you crush the leaves, you'll get a nice, mild carrot smell from them. And the petioles are quite hairy and they have a groove running down the top of the petiole. The flower stems are quite coarsely hairy, which helps to separate this from the deadly poisonous hemlock water dropwort, which have hairless stems. Just be sure if you don't know how to identify hemlock water dropwort, then I'd stay away from any plants in this family. Uh, it's a very important plant to be able to identify if you're a forager. I have done a video on that plant. So you do need permission to dig up the roots. This is on a building site that's just about to be dug up anyway, so it's fine. Now I don't usually bother with the roots that much because they're a lot smaller than cultivated carrots. I mean, they do get bigger than this. This is quite a small one. But um, yeah, they're, they're very tough and uh, not really good eating. So what you can do is use them for flavoring, like put them into, into stews, but then take them out again before eating, so you're just putting the flavour into the food. So they're best to collect either in spring or autumn, that's when the plant is has most of its energy stored in the root rather than putting its energy into the flowers and that's when they go really tough and woody. So they're, they're white with a slight orangey colour. They look nothing like the cultivated carrots we get today. But just remember the key identifying features of the wild carrot. Some of the umbels of flowers will have a, a purpley red flower in the centre and make sure it's got the brats underneath which are forked into three. <laughs> 